Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerdvana Reactions. I'm Anna, and today we are checking out Voice Play featuring Rachel. Ugh. Voice Play featuring Rachel Potter, kidnapped the Sandy Claws from Nightmare Before Christmas. I've seen all of their other Nightmare Before Christmas performances. I haven't seen this one, so I'm really looking forward to it. If you enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into this. La 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 la. Okay, clearly this one's going to be a lot of work for Lane. Also, the makeup is freaking intense and I love it. Um, but yeah, this one's going really Lane heavy, um, which obviously is a good thing. <sighs> that said, I they're barely... Like, they're using character voices, but it's not as emphasized as, like, in Oogie Boogie. Um, so I really like that we're still getting more of their normal voices coming through, but we're also getting, like, that really good sense of Lock, Shock, and Barrel. <laughs> Kidnap the Sandy Claws, lock him up real tight. Throw away the key and then turn off all the lights. First, we're going to set some bait inside a nasty trap and wait. When he comes to sniffing, we will snap the trap and close the gate. Wait, I've got a better plan to catch this big red lobster man. Let's pop him in a boiling pot, and when he's done, we'll butter him up. Kidnap the Sandy Claws, throw him in a box. We'll bury him for 90 years, then see if he talks. Okay. Is Jeff supposed to be... Like, I know it said Mr. Hyde, but is that a character from Nightmare Before Christmas and I'm just forgetting? Or is he... they kind of had to find, like, another spooky type character that fits? Either way, I really love that they have the bathtub that Lock, Shock, and Barrel are all sitting on. So they're keeping elements of the movie and that always makes me happy. Oh. <laughs> Can take the whole thing over then. He'll be so pleased, I do declare. Now he will cook him rare. Wee! <laughs> okay, I've got to know. And I'm going to check to see if they say it in the description. But if they don't, somebody let me know who is doing... Uh, Okay, so Oogie Boogie is Tony. That's even cooler. I love it when they, like... I would say keep it in-house, but, like, when they collab with Patty Cake, essentially. I say that we take a cannon, and aim it at his door, and then not three times, and when he enters, Andy Claus will be no more. You're so stupid, don't now. I'm sorry I keep pausing right in the middle of lyrics, but I just, I can't, like, Lane is doing so much in this one, and I love it. <laughs> this might be, like, I don't know if it's necessarily the most complex beatboxing I've heard from him, but it's definitely, like, a really good prominent, it's very heavy in the mix feel and I love getting to hear more of his beatboxing. <laughs> also Jeff's bass line is pretty intense. <laughs> boogie boogie is the meanest guy around. If I were on his boogie list, I'd get out of I'd get out of I'd get out of town. He'll be so pleased by our success. He'll 
reward is too, I'll bet. Perhaps he'll make his special brew. A snake and spider stew. Yum. We're his little henchmen and we take our job with pride. We do our best to please him and stay on his good side. I wish my cohorts weren't so dumb. I'm not the dumb one. You're no fun. Shut up! Make me. I got something. Listen now, this one is real good. You'll see. We'll And stay on his good side. I wish my cohorts weren't so dumb. I'm not the dumb one. You're no fun. Shut up! Make me. I got Ellie's pout right there. I had to go back because it's just such an... <laughs> it's perfect to the character, but also it's just adorable. <laughs> Something listen now, this one is real good. You'll see, we'll send a present to his door. Upon no be a notary. Now in the box, we'll wait and hide until his curiosity entices him to look inside and then we'll have him one, two, three. That makes him tick. Kidnap the Santa Claus, drop him in the bed. Mr. Oogie sure you get it. I was actually like half convinced that Lane was actually going to fall over there. Um, <laughs> that was so much fun and the little details in the makeup like they even blacked out a couple of Lane's teeth to play Dr. Finkelstein. Finkelstein? I don't know. I, I, clearly I haven't done my yearly watch through yet. <laughs> I, I have much Nightmare Before christmas -ing to go in the next week. <laughs> Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.